We are nearly done with our platformer game in Godot. The last major thing that we have to add is the enemy movement. For the worm, I simply want to move the worm along a platform and as soon as there's a wall or some kind of cliff, then it should reverse. That's basically it. I want to start working inside of the worm scene and we want to work in the script. And let me minimize all of the functions so I have just a bit more space. First of all, I will need a few more parameters. I want to have a direction, and this one could be direction x, because we are only going left and right. This value should be a 1, and it should always be an integer. On top of that, I want to have another variable for the speed, which is going to be an integer with a value of 50. And I suppose this one we do want to export. That way we can update it in the editor. That is giving us all we need to get started with the actual movement. Inside of process, I simply want to get the position, x, and then increase it by the speed, multiplied with the direction x, multiplied with delta. And for that to work, I want to get rid of the underscore for delta, because now we are going to be using this value. Let's try all of that, and now the worm is going to move to the right. That's a good sign. The problem is that the worm never checks for either a wall or a cliff. It simply goes on forever. To check for those, we first of all need to add a few more nodes. I want to add, for now, another area 2D, which I can rename right away to border area. Let me expand this thing a bit so you can see the naming. This area is going to get a collision shape 2D where the actual shape is going to be a rectangle. And this rectangle doesn't need to be very tall, but I do want it to be just a bit wider than the worm itself. The basic logic is going to be, if this rectangle collides with a wall, i.e. on this side or on this side, then we want to reverse the direction of this worm. Meaning if it's going to the right and collides with a wall, then it should be going left. Which means we first of all want to check if there's a collision with this border area, which we can check for inside of the signals. I want to check if a body has entered. So connect this one, and now we know if the worm has hit a terrain wall. If that is the case, I simply want to change direction.x and set it to a negative one. Or rather, I want to multiply that value with a negative one. That way a positive one will become a negative one, and a negative one will become a positive one. To test all of that, I want to go to the level, and then for the worm, we have to add another wall. So with the tile map selected, and let me zoom in both of those, let's put a tile there. And now, unless something went wrong, the worm should be going up to this point, and then move to the left until it reaches this point and simply bounce between the two. And that is looking pretty good. So I'm very happy with that. Although there is one very visible issue, and that is at the moment, this sprite 2D is not animated and it doesn't flip on the horizontal axis. To fix both of those issues, we want to add an animated sprite 2D. For which in the inspector, we will need an animation Although we can stick with the default one, the worm only has a single one. And there, I want to add zero and one and autoplay all of that. After that, we also don't need the sprite 2D anymore. Although let me move the animated sprite below all of the collision shapes so we can see a bit better what's going on. Before we can continue now, inside of the code, once a laser has entered, which happens inside of on area enter, we have to update both of these sprite 2Ds, because the sprite 2D doesn't exist anymore, we have replaced it with an animated sprite 2D. Simply by having that, we should already have a basic animation. That looks really good. Perfect. And let me minimize the inspector and the node tree, so we can see as much code as possible. Next up. Once the worm is hitting a wall, we want to flip the animated sprite. That we can actually do really easily because we know we only want to flip the sprite, i.e. animated sprite 2D and flip underscore H, if the worm has hit a wall, which means we simply want to flip H once we hit a wall. Or in other words, we want to set flip H to whatever it is not. That way, if flip H is currently true, it is going to be false after a wall collision and vice versa. 
let's try all of that. And that looks pretty good. Also, the player can still get damaged. And if I shoot at the worm, we are getting an error. That set delay on the null value gets us an error. So the issue is happening on this line. Inside of this animated sprite, we didn't assign a shader. And as a consequence, when we are trying to do all of this, Godot cannot find this property. Hence, we're getting an error. To fix it, inside of the material, create a new shader material, and then quick load the flicker shader. If we now try to redo all of this and make the player shoot at the worm, this is working just as before. So with that, we have fixed the worm. Although inside of the debugger, we are never using the body, inside of on border area body entered, which means we want to have an underscore and that way Godot should stop complaining. However, next up, we also want to check for a cliff. Unfortunately for the cliff collision, we couldn't simply add a rectangle below the player. The system needs to be a bit more complex. Basically what we have to do is create two area 2Ds to the bottom right and bottom left of the worm. Those are going to check if we are on a cliff or not. The way you want to think about it is imagine all of this is the terrain. And at the moment, the right bottom rectangle is outside of that. So if there's no collision between this rectangle and the terrain, then we know on this side, we have a cliff. Hence the worm should be moving the other way. That's all we are going to do. Implementing all of that is going to be your exercise. I want you guys to create the two cliff areas and then use them to turn the worm around if it reaches a cliff. Pause the video now and see if you can figure this one out. I want to create another area 2D. Let's call this one the right cliff area. This one is going to need a collision shape 2D, which for this one, the shape doesn't really matter. Let's use a rectangle and make it reasonably small and put it to the bottom right here-ish. After that, I want to create another area 2D and this one is going to be the left cliff area which is also going to get a collision shape 2D, which can be a rectangle as well with the same size. However, this one has to be in the bottom left, here-ish. Cool, with that, we have two area 2Ds. We now need to connect them to the script, which we are doing via body exited. We want to check if either of these area 2Ds has exited the terrain collision shapes. So body exited for them, and connect them to the worm script. And this we have to do for both of them. So we have on right cliff area body exited and on left cliff area body exited. In both cases, we simply want to do the same thing we have done earlier. We want to reverse the direction and then flip the animated sprite 2D. So I can paste this one in there and this one in there and we should be good to go. Now you could be just a bit more elegant and put these two lines of code into a separate function and then call the function itself three times. But in our case, these lines are so simple and we are basically finishing the worm, so it doesn't matter too much. Also, before I continue, we are never going to use the body parameter. So I want to add an underscore right away. That way Godot is not going to complain. And finally, to test all of this inside of the level, I want to get rid of this wall which we can do inside of the terrain, I want to erase that one bit. And after that, I can run the game and the worm is working just fine. It is also still going to hurt the player. And if I shoot at it, we have the flicker effect and it can die. Perfect. And that basically finishes the worm. Later on, we do have to add an audio file, but that's going to be very simple. Next up, we can work on the bee. 